Gun control is a key focus on the campaign trail. Democratic hopefuls at a dinner in Iowa overnight criticizing President Trump and calling for change. ABC's senior congressional correspondent Mary Bruce is in Des Moines at the Iowa State Fair with what the candidates are saying and how the president is fighting back. Mary, good morning. Whit, good morning. Well, here in Iowa, the candidates are making their pitches to these key voters, but front and center is this debate over the president's rhetoric and what can be done to curb this rising gun violence. While back in Washington, the president is signaling that he, too, wants to see gun reforms. Overnight, the 2020 Democratic candidates doing a round of political speed dating with Iowa voters. making their pitches to a packed room. We will not defeat Trump unless we have the courage to take on the powerful corporate interests. And taking on President Trump. There is no national security when we don't have racial justice, let alone when we have a president who is coddling white nationalists. One after another, the candidates sounding off against President Trump's rhetoric. You know, Donald Trump, offers no moral leadership. So let's call this what it is. This is white nationalism. This is white supremacy. So we're not going to buy what he's trying to sell because we know dude got to go. Dude got to go. After the horrific shootings in Dayton and El Paso, the candidates are promising change. We need Americans that will stand up with faith in our country, faith in our ideals, faith in each other and come together again and stand together and work together and love together and overcome his darkness with our light. And they are demanding action. And we need gun reform in the United States of America, and we need it now. People are dying on the streets of this country, getting killed by weapons that were made for battlefields. Back in Washington, under growing pressure, the president is now publicly calling for stricter background checks. There's been no president that feels more strongly about the Second Amendment than I do. However, we need meaningful background checks so that sick people don't get guns. Now, the president says he can get both the gun lobby and Republicans on board with stricter background checks, but that is still a big remaining question. Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell now is signaling that he at least is open to considering new legislation, but what he's also not calling lawmakers back to Washington to try and tackle this. And that's a big part of the question here. Mary, there is a gun safety forum happening in Iowa today, and many of the Democratic candidates are already pointing out that President Trump has made comments like these before. Yeah, wait, look, the president now says that he wants to see meaningful background checks, but he's also threatened to veto background check legislation that has now been sitting on Mitch McConnell's desk since February. We have seen the president make similar calls like this before in the past, only to walk them back just a few days later. That is a point the Democratic candidates here are making. And today, here they're going to be outlining their plans to take on this issue. Many of the candidates that I've talked with, though, say they simply are not going to hold their breath for the president to enact change now. With Mary Bruce on the trail in Iowa. Thanks so much, Tom. All right, wait, let's bring in ABC News political director Rick Klein to talk about the latest in the race for president. And Rick, the race did take a turn this week as far as rhetoric's concerned. Some of the Democrats elevating their attacks on President Trump, calling him a white supremacist. A major escalation to have presidential candidates, a, a number of them, say that not just the president courts white supremacists or, or is loved by white nationalists, but actually is a white supremacist. We haven't seen this kind of thing said about a presidential candidate in decades, Tom. And I'll tell you, there's a bit of a backlash brewing around this as well. You've seen Joe Biden and Kamala Harris among those who say, you know, I'm not actually going to say the words directly. They're worried that, that just going out there and, and having, having that kind of statement out there, it may seem tempting in the context of Democratic primary but that is a harsh label to apply, and it may be one that Trump supporters push back with. Uh, there are a lot of Trump backers who say, you know what, I'm not a white supremacist. And so using that kind of language, I think, carries risks. You know, on Friday, Joe Biden was making headlines again for something he said, a gaffe about poor children and race. The campaign said that he quickly corrected himself, but Mayor de Blasio said, not so fast. This seems to be a pattern with the vice president, these slip-ups. This is what you get with Joe Biden. Uh, it's been said about him sometimes that his tongue moves faster than his head. And you're going to hear language from him that is impolitic and, and, and straight out of gaffe. I think it's, it's interesting to see if any Democrats pick up on it, like de Blasio. Do you make this an issue? But I'll tell you, we've been out there with, with Biden and other candidates, and it doesn't seem like his supporters care. Uh, they, they know that what you see is what you get 
with Vice President Biden, and you're going to get some things that uh, may or maybe slips of the tongue. But his standing in this in this race so far, it has been steady. There's really been no shaking his front runner status. Yeah, our team says his supporters are still so fired up at all of his rallies. He's a right, Rick. Great to have you here this weekend. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.